Okay, so here we are, and you're back in Windows 7. It didn't run a check disk or anything, so I guess it's happy with what we did. Uh, you will notice that you have less hard drive space. We had uh, 30, um, 40 gigs before, now we have uh, 30 gigs, because obviously minus 10 <laughs> and change, whatever. And now we can uh, eject that and make sure, hopefully that won't run, start up. Yeah, it's removed. Okay, so there's your Windows 7. Um, dual booting with uh, Arch Linux and uh, just to double check you'll see that the uh, partition has changed we go to manage wait for this to load okay so now we have uh, technically three partitions uh, the reserved uh, the Windows and this is Linux here use this healthy active primary partition so it can't see it you can get third-party tools such as uh, Linux disk reader if you want to uh, look at the partition but you can't you can't see it through traditional Explorer so let's do a shutdown and restart and hopefully the grub bootloader will kick in and we won't have to go to the CD-ROM okay there we are so Arch Linux and make sure Arch Linux is uh, installed and device SDA3 and this is normal when you see all this stuff give it a second type root and your password and we're in and app disk dash list again you see we have the partitions and uh, uh, there's lots of things you can do like F disk or how about disk free dash H device SD SDA3 so it's using approximately one gig of, of disk space and that'll get larger as the more you install uh, an interface and you know we have to get other stuff for Arch Linux to run. So uh, I'm going to um, actually continue this a little more and I'll install an interface. I'll use XFCE since it's the f pretty much the fastest and easiest to get through um, visually, that is. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll be back in, uh, in a flash. So after a bit of time, uh, I installed Arch Linux uh, XFCE4. And you can see here that uh, the Windows 7 partition is on the desktop. And uh, I have another video on setting up NTFS permissions and how to allow you to read and write from it and to open the volume without being denied. So I'll just, I have it set up for single click, but you can double click. There you go, there's your Windows 7 partition. Uh, you can look at, uh, if you have, you can troubleshoot or whatever from here, you can delete files. Um, I don't delete any Windows files, but in your user directory or something, or what's in public, is there any junk in there? You can get rid of that. Like, sample music if you don't want it, or sample, yeah, just delete. Press Shift Delete, and it's gone. When you go into Windows, it won't be there anymore. <laughs> But it's good if you have a virus and you know you can, might be able to track it down. You can remove a folder or a file that's there in your temp system. And so on. So control Q to quit. And just if you don't want that, just eject volume. And you can also set up your file system table to have this mounted on upon startup. Okay. So I'm going to go back into Windows and uh, we'll do another thing to wrap this up. All right, so we're back in Windows, and uh, we'll go to, uh, where was that file? C, uh, users, slash, uh, was it public? Yeah. Remember, we deleted the video, stuff in the video, pictures, music, you see that they're gone, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect Windows. You can do that. You can do that within Windows as well. Okay, so let's do something really mean. All the work I did. <laughs> we'll go to computer, manage, and we're going to delete Linux. 
And the reason I'm doing this is to show you uh, what happens when you do that. Because, and this is why I suggest installing Linux on a different hard drive, a completely like clean hard drive with nothing else on it. Uh, because this is what happens. So we'll delete the volume, say yes. And now let's uh, resize to what it was. It'll go to the default 10 that we specified. Finish, and that's it. Okay? Now let's uh, restart the computer. Here we are. Uh, welcome to Grub. Uh, there's nothing here. Error, no such partition. That's because we deleted it. So, what do we have to do? Well, we have to load up our uh, Windows 7 disk and boot. So, machine uh, reset. And press any key, so I mean just press enter to go into boot from your Windows 7 disk. Hopefully you have that. Uh, if you have an OEM machine, you might not. Uh, so you might have to do, you might want to do a backup or create a rescue uh, disk from within Windows 7. So you can get your Windows installation back. This is one way of doing it, and it's not foolproof either, unfortunately. We're going to resize this a bit. Oh dear. Come on. Alright. Uh, go down here. Hit next. And this one here. Repair your computer. Searching for Windows installations. We can try the wizard. And it might take a while. Uh, that's probably not the... Uh, We'll see what happens. Press next. Let's go to the command prompt. Okay. And hopefully this will work for you. There's another option, but I can't remember. It's NTFS something, but hopefully this works. Boot rec boot record slash fix master boot record MBR. Probably it'll work because we're using a legacy BIOS uh, grub, a legacy boot record. Uh, maybe the extent, extended one that won't work. So press enter. And same thing, and then replace uh, fix boot, uh, fix MBR with uh, boot. Fix boot. Enter. Exit. And restart. Uh, you can just let that go. Don't press any keys. And there we go. We have Windows starting back up. So I hope that uh, helps people out there, and uh, especially the uh, viewer that asked for this. I hope that uh, it makes sense, and uh, you can get on with dual booting your Windows. But I would strongly suggest a different hard drive if you can. And all you do is you point the bootloader, uh, the grub loader, to that hard drive which would be for example SDB instead of SDA and it will ignore Windows don't run OS Prober just ignore Windows don't even install OS Prober okay I think that covers it okay and yeah I'll make some annotations and when we're, I'm reviewing this video if I made any uh, uh, errors or, or whatever or additions I'll put some links as well uh, explaining Grub and Arch Linux and stuff. Okay, so that wraps this up, and uh, everyone have a great day and a great evening and so on. And thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.